Welcome back to another episode of Space This Week, a show where I usually cover the past week of spaceflight news, but it's kind of a different one this week. I've been making these space update videos every single Monday, almost, since the middle of 2020, or in other words, almost half a decade at this point, which seems crazy, as it feels like only yesterday that I uploaded my very first one of these videos. It was covering the launch of the Perseverance rover, and of course, the little helicopter that could ingenuity. I guess when framing it that way, it is easier to see how far we've come. Before I get to the crux of what I want to talk about in this video, I don't want to have clickbaited anyone, so I will now quickly run through the space news of the past week. Monday saw the launch of a Falcon 9 from Vandenberg, carrying 27 Starlink satellites to low Earth orbit. Tuesday saw the launch of a Soyuz 2.1A, carrying the Soyuz MS-27 spacecraft, on board were Roscosmos cosmonauts Sergei Rizikov and Alyetsei Zubritsky, along with NASA astronaut Johnny Kim. And the spacecraft reached the International Space Station via a fast-track rendezvous course, docking to the Nadir port of the Preachal module just 3 hours, 10 minutes and 28 seconds after launch. There were no launches on Wednesday, but Thursday saw the launch of a Long March 3BE from China, carrying an experimental communication satellite to geosynchronous Earth orbit. Friday was another break in launch activity, followed by Saturday's launch of a Falcon 9 from Vandenberg, carrying the ninth batch of SpaceX and Northrop Grumman built Star Shield satellites for the National Reconnaissance Office. Sunday saw another Falcon 9 launch, this being another Starlink mission, lifting off from Kennedy Pad 39A, which was followed by another Falcon 9 Starlink mission earlier today, launching from Kennedy Pad 40. This was a big one, as the first stage booster, B1067, launched and landed successfully for the 27th time overall. A new record, which is crazy stuff. I wonder if SpaceX will actually fly it to 30 missions. We'll have to wait and see. Those were the launch updates. As for everything else, Starbase and Starship progress was more of the same with no major updates to mention, and Jared Isaacman was confirmed as NASA's administrator on Wednesday. The hearing included a couple of interesting things, including his desire to keep the ISS in orbit until 2030, so ignoring Musk's idiotic notion of deorbiting as soon as possible, and on the subject of this, Isaacman doesn't want there to be a pause in the West's permanent habitation of space, so in other words, he wants alternate space stations from the commercial sector operational before the ISS is decommissioned. He also implied potential cancellation of Lunar Gateway as he kept declining to make concrete statements regarding it still going ahead. He did say that it was over budget and delayed and with not much else said means that it may be cancelled and to be honest with the size of the Lunar Starship that Orion will dock to I'm also not wholly convinced of the practical need for a Lunar Space Station to facilitate Artemis but that is just my opinion. He also hinted at possibly cancelling SLS as well after Artemis 3, saying that while SLS and Orion is so far the fastest and best way to get to the moon right now, there are probably going to be better options available in the longer term, which I think is a fair assessment. Starship is in no state to get humans to space right now. We're all awaiting the launch of Flight 9 at this point, and the main thing we're hoping for is the ship doesn't unexpectedly explode again. Meanwhile, SLS and Orion made it to the moon on the very first launch with no significant issues, though obviously the concerns about the Orion heat shield are valid. So yeah, you can consider that the end of the Space This Week part of today's episode of Space This Week, because now I have to be honest with you and say that I don't think I can keep doing this series in its current form for much longer. As a content creator, I'm always trying to make sure the videos I produce are something that my subscribers want to watch, and what the almighty algorithm deems of high enough quality to show to people not familiar with my channel. And to be honest, my recent numbers with Space this week, uh, they haven't been the best, with the last couple of episodes not even breaking 30,000 views, which, yes, woe is me, I know there are many people who'd kill for a lot less, but for a channel of my size, a channel that regularly easily breaks 100,000 views in my Saturday uploads, these numbers are low. And I don't want to sound too cutthroat here, but at the end of the day, I am running a business here, so to speak, and more importantly, I am a single person with very limited number of hours to spend working on YouTube content, considering I do have a day job outside of YouTube as well, and the various academic pursuits that come along with it. I think I've talked about various master's modules and exams I've been doing over the years in my more casual Kerbal and Planet Coaster commentaries. Uh, my real job is in healthcare, and we're expected to do continued professional development over our careers to stay up to date with like the most modern medicines and treatment plans and stuff and of course gain things like more prescribing powers and stuff like that anyway bit of a tangent there but just throwing that in on top of things to highlight that again 
I don't have many hours when all is said and done to spend time on YouTube content. And to be honest, it just seems rather silly and a very poor allocation of time to dedicate half my content creation time on a series that only a very small percentage of my viewers want to watch. And I'm not salty or bitter, by the way. I, I myself watch plenty of channels for only one kind of video among a sea of content they create. So please don't take this as like a tantrum or complaint towards you guys or anything of the sort. People want to watch what they want to watch and space this week just doesn't seem to be something that enough people want to watch these days that could justify the amount of time and money I'm dedicating to producing this series. Yeah, I pay royalties for a lot of the footage I use, and this results in some videos only just breaking even. So going forward, I'm not sure how I'm going to continue these videos. I don't want to stop the show outright, as I am well aware that a lot of my most dedicated audience members are avid viewers of it, but I do have to bear in mind how best I should be managing my limited time creating content. So I was thinking of pivoting to a model more similar to either What About It's updates or Scott Manley's Deep Space update videos where they're not posted every single week or even follow a strict publication schedule at all, just whenever anything of significant interest happens in the industry industry. And let's be real, when I say industry, I of course mean Starship. I've tried to make videos not have a Starship slash SpaceX title and thumbnail, and they almost always tank. I only mention this because people say they don't watch these videos because of the SpaceX angle, but the vast majority of my viewers are the opposite. And obviously with Elon diving off the crazy deep end, you know, calling astronauts slurs and all the other stuff has not helped. And I do think that his actions are the main driving force behind the drop in views for space this week, as other channels have seen similar drops to view counts as his shenanigans have ramped up. This doesn't mean that there will be a reduction of content on this channel overall though. In fact, the exact opposite will happen, I hope. By reducing the frequency of space this week, I guess the series will need to be rebranded too, <laughs> I can spend time working on other content instead. Something that I think will have a broader appeal among my audience. Like for example, kitten space agency update videos, or other space game videos that aren't Kerbal. Some prime examples being Space Engineers 2 and The Planet Crafter. In fact, I have like 50 hours of gameplay for the Planet Crafter recorded, but between Space This Week Mondays and Kerbal Space Program Saturdays, I've literally just not had the time to funnel all that footage into a video. But now we're on the subject of other content that you want to watch, is there anything else that springs to mind? I guess this channel, especially in the eyes of the algorithm, is predominantly a gaming channel, so I think video game content is the way to go, rather than space news. So if you have any other suggestions other than Space Engineers 2 and Planet Crafter, then please list them in the comments. Other games on my radar? include the new Astroneers game and potentially revisiting No Man's Sky, which I last played when it was still very much a terrible game. There's also Juno New Origins and Spaceflight Simulator, I know, uh, but those games, they just don't really appeal to me. I've played them, I could just never really gel with them. I can't really explain why. Maybe I need to give them another shot, but I just don't think I'd make more than one or two videos of those games. Or, if nothing else, having extra time to make videos will result in me having more time to make more ambitious KSP1 content. I think I've sort of allowed myself to produce videos with a bit of a formula to ensure that content is reliably created on time, and I hope that by having more time to make the content, I'll be able to make longer videos with more... I don't know, grander scale, I guess? <laughs> anyway, sorry that this video might not have been the one you expected, but just wanted to be honest about how I think I should be managing my time on this channel better, and I think less frequent Space News videos is the most sensible option. But thank you so much for sticking with me all these years, and I really don't want these videos to end completely. But yeah, like I say, the current format isn't really working anymore, and so I do need to do something to change that. I don't really know what I'm doing a lot of the time on YouTube, so just kind of throwing things at the wall to see what sticks. Thoughts and suggestions are very much welcome and encouraged in the comments section. And yeah, that's, uh, that's it. Bye for now.